Tyson, Tyson D25 multiple exclusive. I got this last year. Nice looking machine and the reason why it's multiple exclusive is because it can it comes with this, which is it to top door. So this is useful if you just can top a door frame like that. Or something like that, or the top of um, a wardrobe or something like that, like this. So um, before before we get to the review, I'm gonna give you just a quick quick demo of this section of what I'm doing. So uh, to recline it, you press this red paddle like this, and then press the red button to turn it on. So now it's all of the machine. So to release the one, just keep it like that. And you put the attachment on there. So just for demonstration purposes. See? I'm actually gonna do a demo of it set the top to all. Just to make it better. So then if you don't want the one, you just press this button there. And it comes out like that. Even one-handed. Which is a bonus. that and then just turn it on so there's the um that's the top tool then you get the crevice combo with it and the um stair tool so I'm gonna do a quick demo of the crevice combo just on the skirting board and then I'll do one step as well with the stair tool just to get that over with. So we're going to start with the crevice combo. Then when you're done vacuuming, you just press this button here and then you take the tool off. And then you put that there, that there, and then just insert this into there. And then you just put that down like that. So when um, you see you've got two buttons there, on, and then brush bar on off, so that's on and off, brush bar on off there. And then you've got the, um, this to empty it, so just press that and then the red button. I'm not going to empty it out because it's got a little bit of dirt in it from when I last used it. And obviously a little bit from today I think. <coughs> it, it recently had a new filter, so it's not too bad. <coughs> Then you got the cyclones there. So um, in a minute I'm going to get on to the good things and bad things about this machine. But first of all I'm just going to show you the machine. So to get access to the, the filter inside the ball, push on the red paddle to reply on it. So I'm just going to get my foot. And 
push the blue button there. Now it comes off. Push the red button. And then there's the motor unit. Like that. Bit awkward with one hand, but with two hands it's easy. And that, but then you can stand it up. So I'm going to um, so that's just plug it. So um, I'm going to show you how to. I'm going to show you how number one how to clean the brush bar if it's dirty. I've done a bit hard, and then um, number two, I'm going to show you um, why I like it. So to get this clean head off, like this. So you hold, so you push that down, and then that comes off like that. So um, I'm just gonna stand the camera up. Let's stand the camera up on there a second. So then you get either a coin or a flathead screwdriver and turn this. And that comes out. And then you've got a baby wipe or something like that, you can wipe inside of there if it's dirty. You take this off. And that. And then you clean any, de any debris like that. Just need a bit of a clean. I can do that with the time. Then when you're done, just put that back on. Slide it in like so. Turn. And then you're nearly ready to finish the car and vacuum in. The next step is you line this like this. So you can sideways. It clicks. That's one thing I like. Another thing I like is this red pedal. I know it's old fashioned now compared to the newer Dysons, but I actually like this design better because. Um, it stands up easier than the than the new ball models where you're just pushing down. Because sometimes if you if you don't push it help at hard enough it falls falls down, which is obviously really annoying. So that's another thing I like. And I will be talking about the things I don't like as well a little bit later on. So I um, just wanna see more things I like. Another thing I like is this metal wand and also like the fact the handle comes off like that okay so um i think that's everything i like about it now so the things i don't like filtration you often get dirt in there and this new filter is dirty after just a few uses the, the, the newer filtration systems are better, like, such as a DC55 total clean, or the DC41 Mark II or something like that. The DC40 is not amazing, but it's a little bit better than this one. Also, um, also I find some things on this are just not that good. Like the cleaning performance is good on it, but you've got to take the machine onto its back. And I'll show you why. The, these things here stop the carpet from getting sucked up. But you actually want the carpet to be sucked up for the machine to do its job. So, um, another thing I don't like is this because it makes the machine very bulky. So I much prefer the new designs. But overall, the machine is a good machine. 
and if you can get one brand new which I did last year then great because I think some countries still do them brand new but otherwise um, otherwise I would recommend it if you can get if you can get the new or a decent used one or a furbish or something like that so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys very soon